she's, are you just a happy puppy today? Come on, we gotta record this. We gotta record this video. Oh, you're feeling better today. Oh, geez, we're recording. What up, guys? CP the tool addict and Henry. Woo! What do you think? Do you hear something in here? Are you hunting mice? Yes. Uh, Henry is, uh, Henry is feeling okay <laughs> today. Um, he still has to have his surgery, for some of you guys that know. Uh, unfortunately, it's a pricey process, so it's going to take some time for me to get him all ship-shaped up to doing that. So, hit that like button. Help support me a little bit, and Henry, and, you know, uh, he's got to get a little surgery done there, and He'll be fine, but it's just expensive. So, anyways, uh, we got a great video for you today. Wild Tools is in the house! Woo! I've got this giant box behind me. Full, stuffed full of brand new Lyle Tools. And, yes, it's ear flapper season. I'm starting to look like Mel Gibson. I swear to God. I mean, not so much here, but, you know, the, you know, lethal weapon, Mel Whip Gibson. Anyways, let's get into the video, talk about what we got. We're going to show you a couple things, and there's going to be more to come because it's too much to do in one video. We've got some awesome stuff. So let's turn it around and get after it. All right, so as you can see, I have some top secret Lyle information right here. We're going to look, take a look at these real quick because this is all of the new stuff, and I do have all of it, and I do mean every little bit of it. We're going to go over a few of the things. You guys will have to tell me in the comments. Uh, which one you are most excited about. Seven new products out from Lyle Tools. Stretch belt installer for double pulleys, which is on the Ford EcoBoost 3.5. I have had one EcoBoost and one new GM 5.3 where I had a problem. Uh, we have the actuator motor wrench. Uh, it's You can do it with a zip tie. I know you guys are going to say it in the comment box. But CP, you can just do it with a zip tie. I, that's fine. Whatever. I <laughs> This is just a tool that you can use. And also... I think you can use this for other pulley applications and a couple other ideals. I'm not going to talk about it yet. We'll see if anybody says it in the comment box, but uh, there's definitely some... I'm going to try to show a video on me using this for another application I think will be good. Actuator motor wrench. You know them Ford Flexes. Uh, I do. I have replaced one of the Ford Flexes on the HVAC motor. Definitely a must-have tool. Diesel injection puller set. Uh, this is a 407740. Uh, obviously, the part numbers are right here. So, you guys, I'm not going to put these all in the comment box because they're not in stock yet. I will tell you that right now. These are all coming in stock. So, you're going to have to wait. I'm ahead of the game. Obviously, Lyle's right here. So, we got the stuff pretty quick. But, uh, air freshener, new air freshener. Great for you. So they might be available on the website. Um, we got a whole. What do we got here? Are these all the same? These are all the same. Okay. They're all the same. So we got a new fan clutch set, pneumatic wrench set, the 43350. And don't forget to go over to Lyle uh, to their uh, YouTube page. Give them a like and tell them CP sent you and you love Lyle tools. Hashtag smile with Lyle. Hashtag CP the tool adding. Uh, then we got uh, 50240 magnetic funnel holder. Pretty excited about this. This one is definitely something that I uh, participated in, um, and uh, I'm pretty happy, uh, and I'm going to tell you a cool story about this. So uh, this is just the power of YouTube. This is, what, this is a story that made me feel extremely um, helpful. Uh, it was super awesome, and I hope uh, I get a comment and whatnot uh, from this. Anyways, uh, 288 Haiti, another tool that I had a little bit of a hand in. I will show you the prototype tool. Actually, now I think it's okay. 28800 digital test light with load tester. So uh, let's get into the tools because I know that's what you guys want to see. So here's the first tool. And like I said, I just got these in. They're hot, hot, hot. This is for, uh, and it says right on here, I guess, for, uh, for the Ford 3537. But it's also, I know that the 5.3s and the 6.2s, 2019 and newer, I believe, uh, I don't think it says on here, but I'm pretty sure, and you guys can comment down below, because I'm pretty sure I had a 2019 5.3 with a double pulley. And uh, I did the old zip tie method, but definitely glad to have this, because it's just nicer. Not only that, I'm not wasting zip ties. I'm kind of a, a zip tie hoarder. Uh, you know, you guys are out there, you guys know. 
but uh, 59350 uh, I do not know the prices on these, uh, so you'll have to look that up. Uh, I apologize, I didn't look at them, and you know, Lyle's reasonable anyway, so it is what it is. Well, I knew if I didn't pull this up, somebody would cry, so, uh, you know, I had to take care of something, so uh, 286 for the fan clutch set. Uh, these are the new products right here, the funnel, magnetic funnel holder, 3625. The stretch belt tools forty three ninety five. The puller diesel injection puller kit two ninety six. The test light is one thirty one ninety five. Uh, the actuator uh, tool is seventy six ninety five. The gripper air freshener is two fifteen and sixteen bucks. Those are the couple new tools, but we're gonna move on. Those those are MSRP prices, guys. Keep in mind uh, they do that to be competitive, so all the dealers can you know make adjust their own prices. That's the Top of the line prices, you know. So, uh, we'll get into this uh, tool here more as we go on. So, without ado, let's move it to the, you know, here's the air freshener. Uh, let's smell this thing up here. I know you guys can't smell it. What does this smell like? Does it smell like oil? Uh, I don't really want to open this up. I don't know what it smells like. But it is Smile with Lyle. So, all right. So I'm sure a couple of you have seen the price on this and already lost your mind. Well, that's pretty typical. Um, you're going to have that some days. People are uh, probably going to wonder why is this so much money. It's just a test light, CP. Well, I wish that was just the case. So this right here is the prototype I'd been using. Uh, and, and this is basically kind of like a load pro. Now, keep in mind, this was pretty crude and primitive. Uh, just a little load tester. Um, the guys at Lyle made this, sent it over to me and said, hey, give this a shot, see what you think of it. And uh, by God, the final product has finally came. Now, let me tell you, it's it's been about a year in the making, so this is pretty cool to finally get my hands on the finished product, which I certainly appreciate being able to help those guys out. It's just uh, it's a super, super big privilege and honor uh to be able to do that uh and there's several other guys that do it too it's not just me that's the cool thing about lyle lyle sending their stuff out in the field giving guys uh opinions and talking about you know or finding out what uh there is to do uh and what what kind of uses you're going to get out of them and you know get different opinions and if they come back with unanimous opinions and stuff they come out and man they just really they really get this in there they really get these packaging in here. Their packaging process is definitely bar none. Some of the best out there. I know. Let me get this opened up. This is not just a normal test light. I apologize about that uh, little cutting incident there. This is not just a test light. This is kind of a load tester. And if you see right here, it's a 12 volt. And then you press for an 800 milliamp load. So let's get this on a battery of some sort quick. All right, as you can see, I got a 12 volt power supply here. And uh, I don't know how long this will stay on because it's one of my junky no but NOCO. But once you add the load to it, it drops it down 800 milliamps. Your light comes on in the back here. Let me get this in view for you. I know, just calm down. So there's your light that comes on there for the uh, voltage, stating that uh, you got a short basically now keep in mind this is not computer safe okay this is an advanced level tool i will say uh this is something that you have to be use your noggin for uh older stuff be great you know if you're working on anything that's uh you know pre uh mid 80s uh this would be absolutely great because you can test light bulbs uh coils all sorts of things and just see and this is a fantastic tool um and it's it's well built. Uh, I like the fact that it displays voltage. Uh, this is a nice test light in general. Uh, if you need it for those times for for checking voltage drop, it's great. And it only applies 800 milliamps, so it's not going to, like, kill the world. Good chances you're not going to always smoke a computer. But, uh, hey, listen, I'm not here to say that this won't kill a computer because this will kill a computer if you short it out. But if you're trying to test a, a bulb... Or something and it's got a corrosion or whatnot like this you can apply a little voltage drop to it and see and this little light puts off heat it 
it gets warm there, so you know what's going on. So, awesome tool from Lyle. I definitely like it. It's uh, a little bit faster than using a Load Pro, a little bit quicker. It's just a quick and dirty diagnostic tool, guys. Um, it's that's one of the, that's what it is. That's the long and short of it. It's a quick and dirty diagnostic tool. Something different for your arsenal if you're doing diagnostics, and that's the long and short of it. All right, now on to one of my other favorite tools. And uh, once again, like I said, this video is getting extremely long, but this is the Lyle third, uh, 50 240 funnel holder. Now, you're going to say, CP, didn't they already have a funnel holder out? Well, 3 Twin Tool had a funnel holder out. And obviously, if you guys know and you've been following the channel for a while, Victor contacted me through his Instagram, who is the owner of 310 Tool. Uh, he needed a way to manufacture, mass manufacture more. I got him in contact with Lyle. Lyle took the idea, and they pretty much own the rights to this now. Uh, I believe Victor has some stock left over, but this is now 100% uh, Lyle tools. Um, and let's open it up, and I'm going to show you why, what they did to make it different, uh, better, in my opinion. A couple things I do like and I don't like. Um... First of all, I love the fact that it's clear now. You can see that it's the same size. It has the same magnets on it that are strong. The very, very, very strong magnets. You couldn't tell the difference. In fact, they're pretty much the same size. In fact, that's why I got the rubber caps here to show you that they are the exact same uh, size magnets as what were on the other one. So if you have these rubber caps from the 310 tool, which I highly recommend because they are nice. Not only that, they're easy to clean off when you get anything stuck to them but you can also see the funnels work the same uh they keep the funnel in the same way there's a few slight differences though that uh are going to come off the bottom used to come off of the 310 tool it does not come up oops i got crap coming out of this one uh the bottom does not come off of the new lyle one here okay that's one big thing the second thing is this thing actually meets up with all of the lyle tools funnels which is really awesome as pictured here on the back which i have one here i'll show you real quick but these are all the funnels now that it accommodates so you can use all these different funnels and they're all made through lyle on this style if you already have lyle funnels now this would accommodate all of them which is one thing i did hear from a couple people now i know this says mac tools but this is a lyle one but as you can see right here awesome now this funnel will sit in there and drain. So when I'm done using this funnel now, I can set it in there and let it drain. Bada bing, bada boom. And my Lyle one is in there. Plus I can leave it sitting out. It's not out on something or other. You know, it, the magnet, I apologize. I'll have to show it in other things and other ways. But you know, there's three different kinds of funnel holders. You have the white side funnel holder. You have the 310, which is the original. And then this is the upgraded model now from Lyle. Now, a couple things that I didn't like, which... Uh, they're not terrible. Uh, they did change the pitch of this a little bit, which is nice. So it comes out a little bit farther, so that way when it's setting up against something, the bigger funnels are accommodating. So that's kind of nice. Um, it still has the ribbing in there, just like the 310 tool does. Uh, it has the ribbing in there. Uh, I didn't. No, I wasn't so sure. I didn't like the bottom coming off, but I don't think it'll be a difference. You spray it out, brake clean, dump it out. Uh, you don't want to get it too full, anyways. Uh, Wanted to have the covers. I wanted to see these little covers on them. Thought that was nice because these things really, in fact, you can see right here. See how this one's already collecting uh, stuff on it? You take this off, and I basically can wipe it off of my clothing uh, and put it back on. And that's how quick I can clean it. So that way, if I do have something on there, I don't take a chance of scratching my toolbox, my car, whatever I'm working on. That's kind of why I like those little covers. I think Lyle, I'd be nice if Lyle had those as an option to buy. Uh, maybe if they watch this video, uh, hint, hint, Eddie, uh, they'll definitely do that. But uh, nonetheless, I think it's an awesome upgrade. Uh, still running in the same price point, basically, as the Lyle. I think they improved on it, obviously, with the bigger, wider mouth. The only thing that I could say different that I didn't like was just that there. But otherwise, I think they did a knockout job. And um, I had a little bit of input in it, but ultimately they made the decision on how to do everything and what they were going to do. Came out awesome. So the Lyle new funnel buddy is now here once again. Uh, the new the new funnel buddy, the upgraded one. 
As soon as they're available, I would recommend checking them out. I will try to put them in, post them into the link of the channel when I can. But otherwise, that's the Lyle Tool Haul. There will be more, so get ready. We've got a lot more to show you and talk about. So remember to like, comment, share, subscribe. Ring that bell. Remember, keep your hands dirty and your money clean. Thanks for watching.